Hi, I'm Bruce with Multitool. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about the advantages of the Multitool grinder for golf club refurbishing. We can do a lot of things with this machine. It's been a very popular um, application for the Multitool. Uh, it's actually sold through Golf Works and some specialty golf outlets uh, specifically for this use. But what you can do with this machine is take a scratched up or rusted old uh, golf club and be able to polish it up to a very fine finish and really get it looking like new again in just maybe five or ten minutes time. So what we're doing here with the multi-tool, since it can change out belts really quickly and it's got four different workstations basically, five if you include the, the wheel on the side, you can switch between different abrasives and different grinding areas really quickly and have everything right here at your fingertips to do the job very fast. The first step in cleaning up the golf club would be to get out any pits or dings that are distorting the surface, making it look beat up. So we do that with a Trizac belt. The Trizac belt is a very fine engineered abrasive by 3M. That'll give you a flatter appearance and knock out any highs and lows. So you could take off a little bit of material as needed and polish out the dings in the head of the golf club. This gives you kind of a satin finish. The Trizac is available in grits from 220 grit up to 1200 grit. Uh, today we're using a 220 grit Trizac to get the dings out of this golf club. So once we get the dings out and we get it flattened up to where we want to see it, we're basically going to switch abrasives. We're going to go to a Scotch-Brite belt. These uh, Scotch-Brite surface conditioning belts um, will kind of help blend in the scratches from the Trizac. It'll give it um, a more uniform finish. It doesn't really remove much material, so it's safe to use on the face of the club and you won't be taking away any of the markings or writing that's engraved into the club. It'll give it a nice blended appearance. You can see as we're using it here that it gives it a little bit more of a brighter satin finish and gets you real close to polish at that point. Some people might be fine with this satin finish. You could stop right here if you wanted to. The final step that we're gonna do today is using the sisal wheel. The sisal wheel is an option on the multi-tool that replaces the stone grinding wheel. This wheel is used with a polishing rouge and works like a buffing wheel. So you can see as we're buffing, it takes out the scratches from the satin finish from the Scotch-Brite, brings a kind of a gloss, almost a chrome appearance to the club, and it gives it the final finish that people are usually looking for. So with just a few steps, in this case, it's only a three-step process and maybe just a few minutes of time, you can take an old golf club, make it look like brand new again. If you've got any questions about the multi-tool grinder or any of the accessories, check out our website, multitoolgrinders.com. Thank you.